Right, Anderson, Colin Kaepernick and others have been very clear this is not about the troops, as President Trump has previously suggested, or simply disrespecting the flag, but rather about social injustice, uh, a dispute about the justice system and police brutality. What's notable here is that though President Trump argues that these players have a difficult time defining exactly what they're protesting, he revealed earlier this year that he clearly understands their motives. I want you to listen to this soundbite from President Trump in June. We have a great country. You should stand for our national anthem. You shouldn't go in a locker room when our national anthem is played. I am going to ask all of those people to recommend to me, because that's what they're protesting, people that they think were unfairly treated by the justice system. And I understand that. And I'm going to ask them to recommend to me people that were unfairly treated, friends of theirs or people that they know about, and I'm going to take a look at those applications, and if I find, and my committee finds that they're unfairly treated, then we will pardon them or at least let them out. I'm going to ask all of those people to recommend to me, because that's what they're protesting, people that they think were unfairly treated by the justice system. And I understand that. And I'm going to ask them to recommend to me people that were unfairly treated, friends of theirs or people that they know about. And I'm going to take a look at those applications. And if I find, and my committee finds that they're unfairly treated, then we will pardon them or at least let them out.
all of those people to recommend to me, because that's what they're protesting, people that they think were unfairly treated by the justice system. And I understand that. And I'm going to ask them to recommend to me people that were unfairly treated, friends of theirs or people that they know about, and I'm going to take a look at those applications. And if I find, and my committee finds that they're unfairly treated, then we will pardon them or at least let them out. Um, could you have someone monitor, please? I need a 27 through George, please. Okay, we're good. We're good. We don't have anybody to monitor at this time. Could you call someone in to help us out? Zero five one four two two seven zero nine through Georgia. Hmm. I didn't know uh -huh. you were in the Air Force. Yeah, I'm retired Air Force. Why are you checking me out? Sir? Yeah, yeah. Do what? Why are you checking me out? Because you issued a criminal trespass. For what? Um, Wes Taylor said nobody's allowed to be on the Board of Education. I beg your pardon? Mr. Taylor, the superintendent, said nobody's allowed to be on the Board of Education. So you issued me what? Criminal trespass. You can't be on the property. Sir, I've never been told that. I know. That's what I'm telling you now. Mr. Oh, Taylor oh, just oh, called oh. and said it. Well, but why are you running my tag? That's my question. No, I'm running your driver's license. That's what I'm saying. Oh, we, any, any contact with anybody, you got to run the. Um, okay. Oh, I got okay. you. Okay, yeah, okay. just, just for safety. Okay. 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 What, what happens if you're. Uh, wanted guy, you wouldn't want me running so on. Um, I'm just asking a question. I appreciate it. I got you, you bro. You know, you know what I'm explaining. I got you. I got you. I just got back from Atlanta, so I thought they said it was going to be right here. No. Yeah, okay. No. Okay, all right. I got you. Yeah. I just got back from Atlanta. They called me. I was going to. I didn't know. Well, three Sierra. Three Sierra. <laughs> 27 returning to George Boston, Class C ballot, 74 10 29. The, um, um, where are y'all supposed to be at? I don't know. Like I said, I just got both met with a guy from the Justice Department in Atlanta. That's why I, went to, I had to counsel that you, to come you know down here. You know they're releasing the autopsy results, right? No, I didn't know that. Where are you? I'm done. Uh, they're fixing to do it right now. Yeah. Okay. 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 All right. I just got back. I, um, Mr. Taylor said no no criminal trespass on board of education or any property owned by Lambs at all, all and everything. You remember me and you had contact back over at the football field. I remember, I remember you very receptive. I, okay. I, 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 remember, I, I remember people. Yes, sir, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Just do me that favor and everything, okay? Now, what, what I will do now, is anybody posted outside out there to let people know where somebody won't come in here blinded? Yeah, yeah. Okay, absolutely. well, that's, that's all. That's good about that stuff and everything. Take care, T. All right, right y'all take, take care. care. All right, man. Today is another day. As I see here on the streets of Valdosta. We know that there's a graduation today at Lowndes County High School. And as you can see, the Kendrick Johnson's family are standing as once again demanding justice and full disclosure of all the records that are held, that are available at this stage of the investigation of the death of their son. This will be an interesting day, I will assure you. Join me as I keep you informed, live while on the streets here in Valdosta, Georgia.
cool. He, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, but no, you, you know me, man. I'm a vibe, but I, I okay. do that. Go in this area. You know the rest, okay? Okay. Where can That's I try? Okay, well, 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 you need to stay right here. Okay. They got a well, they got a public meeting down here. So you telling me I can't go to the okay. public meeting? I, I do not know. I got you. That. I got you. But there's a public meeting. I, I, I understand. I'm not what, going. I'm not going. I've been told. I, I understand that. But what I'm saying is that there's a public meeting down here. So you all telling me that I cannot go to a public I, meeting, I, and I haven't violated no law. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do like you're saying, but you I... Have a, you have a criminal trespass warning for the area of Lowndes High School. Okay. Everybody... So this, all of us do. No. Well, I do. Of course, I know it's just you. Is that right? Of course, I what? know. Okay, I don't want to hold up traffic. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do, bro? Go back out this way. Right? Okay, man, this is going to be interesting in court. and I have just been informed by the sheriff's deputy that is behind me to my right. And I was informed that our trespass warrant has been issued against me here in Valdosta and Lowndes County, Georgia, not to enter any area of Lowndes County High School property. This came as a complete shock to me. Based upon what I've just been told by this deputy, that I could have been arrested at any time. I was out there on property a few days ago, putting up a podium, walking on the property, not knowing that a warrant had been issued or banning me from Lowndes County High School here in the state of Georgia and in the United States of America. I have never violated any law here in Valdosta and Lowndes County that is recorded in record that I am aware of. And so I called the Justice League, Bobby Worthy, to inform him of what has happened. This is a continuous practice. This is about the fourth time that I've had problems with law enforcement. The Lowndes County Sheriff's Department under Sheriff Prime. We must make documentation that I, George Boston Ryan, have violated no law in Lowndes County. Yet I have been issued a warrant not to go on Lowndes County taxpaying property wherein there was a public meeting this morning, I was told, that there was a Board of Education meeting on this area, the old field house, in the old field house. So I believe there's a great possibility that my constitutional rights have been denied. Sir, I need your, uh, you got a card? No. Okay, what's your name? Stephanie Thomas. Stephanie Thomas? Yes, Deputy Thomas. Yes. Okay, what I, my attorney asked me is to request from you a copy of that warrant. My attorney, C.B. King. I just called my attorney. Yeah, you told and I know you, I know you ain't got nothing. You told me the wrong person. I understand, I understand, but I'm, yeah, I'm doing what you asked me to do. But you do, first of all, you do not have a warrant. Okay, well, there's a warrant you would have been arrested. Right, okay. I mean, I, well, I got to direct the traffic. Okay, well, I just want to direct traffic so I can get the seriously hurt. I understand. I appreciate it. Right. And I appreciate you, man. I ain't got to get you, man. You know that. Appreciate it. Thank you. I'm a minister at the First Antioch Missionary Baptist Church, and, and my grandchildren attend school out there. And there were some things that I was kind of concerned about because I had asked uh, a gentleman by the name of George Boston Ryan to come in and, and video my granddaughter's graduation, and he was stopped and said he wasn't allowed to come on the premises. And, and, this, and, this, and we were trying to find out what, what had he done that he couldn't come out there. Uh, 
by the sheriff's department and said that he was giving orders by you guys that he wasn't allowed on the premises. Okay. I think that may be something you'd have to take up with the sheriff's department. Okay. 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 So you guys, it's okay if he come out to the premises if, if something come up? No, sir. What I'm saying is I believe that there was, uh, and I don't know what, what they called it, uh, some sort of order based on something that happened uh, in the past that I believe that there's something in place. And again, I, I think either he would need to, to, to discuss that with you or possibly the sheriff's department. Oh, okay. But, but so I do believe there's something in place. Um, I just, I don't want to tell you something that's not right. Right. I tell you what, uh, can you set an appointed time that I can come in and sit down with you? Yes, sir. I would be glad to. Uh, what about uh, tomorrow sometime? What will be a good time? I'm not going to be here tomorrow. Hold on just a minute. Let me turn this calendar around. All right. You, you, can you see your calendar? Is... No, no, I'm not, not, not at the present time. Okay. All right. Well, let me ask you this. Um, is there a particular day of the week that's better for you? Uh, what, what about today? What about Friday morning? Oh, we're closed the rest of this week. That's what I was going to okay. say. Okay. Uh, this is part of the time. Where well, what, what about Monday of next week? All right. Let me open this thing up. Monday is June the 3rd. Yes, sir. I've got on Monday and Tuesday of next week, I'm meeting with each. We have 12 schools. I'll meet with all of our principals on Monday and Tuesday. Okay. I've already got all of them scheduled. Well, uh, I'm scheduled to go to Atlanta. I got to be in Atlanta on Wednesday and the rest of that week, so I, it, 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 I can't make that one. All right, well, hold on just a minute. I'm, I'm just flipping over the next week, which is Monday the 10th. Um, okay. I've got uh, a principal's meeting that day. Hold on, we'll, we'll get us today. Hold on just a minute.
could ask all of those people to recommend to me, because that's what they're protesting, people that they think were unfairly treated by the justice system. And I understand that. And I'm going to ask them to recommend to me people that were unfairly treated, friends of theirs or people that they know about, and I'm going to take a look at those applications. And if I find, and my committee finds that they're unfairly treated, then we will pardon them or at least let them out.